Happening locally live at 5, a national organization will be paying tribute to Officer Orozco. The Honor Network is bringing the honor flag to the metro. Jessica Gale joins us live now with more. John Mallory, the honor flag will be arriving shortly. In fact, we're told it should be here within the next 5 to 10 minutes per se. We're standing in the parking lot of J.C. Penney near South 24th and I-80. Again, it should be arriving any moment now. Traveling all the way from Texas to be here. This tribute, of course, in honor of the late Omaha police officer, Carrie Orozco, who died in the line of duty this week. I do want to give you some background info on that flag. For those of you who aren't aware, this obviously a very big deal. The honor flag actually started out as a gift by the Texas House of Representatives. And it has since traveled the country to places like Ground Zero and other cities of those who've lost their lives while protecting the lives of others. Now, this time, the destination is Omaha, Nebraska, in light of tragedy, yes, but also a sign of the ultimate sign of respect for such a dignified soul. Now, I, I do want to cut in here. It looks like that motorcade for the honor flag is actually pulling in as we speak. This is live here on the air. Um, from here, we're told this flag will be handed off to authorities, and from this parking lot, it'll actually be taken to the funeral home. It's there that it will stay with Carrie until she is buried on Tuesday. Again, this is a live look at the motorcade rolling in all the way from Texas with the United States honor flag. As you can see, the Iowa State Patrol also rolling in. And you know, these individuals aren't only from Texas. There are law enforcement agencies really coming from all across the country to be here for the funeral. Many of them leaving as early as tomorrow, we're told. And it looks like representatives are getting ready to hand over that flag now. Again, you're looking at Omaha law enforcement meeting up with those representatives from Texas. Obviously a very, very special, special moment right now. Again, we want to remind you what you're looking at currently. Representatives from Texas handing over the United States honor flag. It looks like Omaha law enforcement getting instruction as to how it's to be handed over. Again, they just arrived within the past five minutes. This is a moment many people have been waiting for. This is a huge honor. Again, this comes uh, from Texas, travels all across the country to cities of those who've lost their lives while protecting the lives of others. No better tribute for a woman like Officer Carrie right, Orozco. Folks, I'm going to tell you what's going to happen real quick, all right? Let's listen in. You guys, uh, many of you are familiar with the flag, but let me tell you real quick what's going on. This is a special American flag that since 9-11 has traveled over 7 million miles. It's here today for your fallen hero. What we're going to do is every time the flag is touched, we use brand new gloves every single time. So the state of Iowa is going to present the flag to the Omaha Police Department. One single flag is 
I don't know if you can actually hear what the man is saying, but he just got done telling us this flag has traveled over seven million miles. It is here to be here for our fallen hero. Again, that's Officer Kerry Orozco with the Omaha Police Department. Something interesting he just said, this flag has never been touched by the same pair of gloves. Every time it is handed over to a new state entity, a new gloves, a new set of gloves rather, is worn to hand that flag over. Okay, so obviously this is turning into quite the process, as it should be. We'll be bringing you full coverage of this entire process, how it works, how these law enforcement handle the flag, and uh, actually be following the procession to the funeral home where that flag is to remain with Officer Orozco until she is buried on Tuesday. Again, full coverage coming up in our later shows online, on air, and of course on our app. John Mallory, we'll toss it back over to you now. A powerful moment seeing mm -hmm. that motorcade come in and everybody line up. It's traveled so many thousands of miles to honor officers. Yeah, and the troopers saluting just as we mm -hmm. left the live uh, video. And also earlier, the live feed, uh, officers all saluting as uh, it arrived. And only new gloves able to touch that honor flag. And we'll put the entire thing, as Jessica mentioned, we'll try to break in a little bit later in this newscast and also at WOWT.com.